Hey everybody. I had a dream the other night. Um and I got to see my afterlife. It was beautiful. Oftentimes I go to sleep and I wake up the next morning and uh, I have my uh, alarm set to Jill Scott's Blessed song. So I, uh, because I want to wake up feeling refreshed and blessed. And I had this dream the other night and I had to let it ponder, let it sit. And I just not like, something just told me to start recording because I, I just wanted to record. I saw this light and just wanted to record. And the dream allowed me to see my afterlife. It was bad, it was good, but it was simple. And every morning I always ask just to have simplicity. Nothing great, nothing bad, just simplicity. And this life that we're living is so damn amazing, y'all. This life is a sight for sore eyes. It's like a needle in a haystack. Um, with everything that's going on, it's like a robust of fresh air to have a life and just to think about your life. And I'm not dissatisfied with my life. I'm not upset with my life. I am at peace with my life and knowing that this one opportunity I can get, I'm going to push forward. I'm going to do it. I'm going a, I'm to a do me. Because this life is so bountiful. It's so fruitful. It's so clear water and a morning sunshine with saltane water. I'm not even sure if saltane is even a word. But it's so robust, if that's a word. It's so... Just, God damn it, it's so good. <laughs> it's so, like... It's so tasteful, so, so good. And waterful, like water dripping out of your mouth, so replenished. The dream was so revealing of my life. The dream keeps me alive inside. Um, the dream keeps me in my world. I have the four walls of my house, but I have the four walls of my soul. And the dream just allows me to keep on going. I'm daydreaming at times. I'm night dreaming at times. I'm speak dreaming. I'm alive dreaming. Hey, you know, sometimes I feel like this life is a dream of a, of a, of a, of stars in a, in a galaxy where there's a whirlwind of crazy. And this life is love. And my dream was everything I wanted it to be. The dreams I've been having have given me the writership, the essence, the wording, the, the, the courage to go after everything with all I got. Um... I don't pay attention to people as far as, unless it's something I need to say. Um, I'm a people watcher, but as far as when it comes to the silence of deadliness, it doesn't matter to me. This life is once an opportunity. It's almost like when I think about it, I'm like, when I am done, I want to look back on my life and say, I know myself. Avier Vassar Rutherford, I got to know you. And I know you fully now. And I know everything. I want to say that on my deathbed, that when I die, I want to know everything and that I have learned everything. And I can say that. I've grown up around strong women, some strong, strong women, y'all. 
and they've allowed me to be fruitful and, and, and bountiful and bask in the ambience of my glory and my peachness, if you will. My understanding to know how the world spins and why it does and that everything I do has a second to count for it and it shall not be wasted. And everything I do outside of the requirements of making sure I can survive day to day as far as economical, uh, medical, um, emotional, physical, mental, it's making sure that my village, my step into every direction that I ever take will leave me with some complete. Make sure that you have those times to yourselves. Make sure you know who you are in any way imaginable. Keep to yourself. Love on yourself. Kiss yourself. Hug yourself. But most importantly, make sure the shoes you wear are the shoes that you're willing to afford and pay the cost for. We have ideas that we want in our next lifetime. Make sure in your next lifetime you know what you want. Because in this lifetime you only get one thing. That is promised and dedicated to you.